Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to another reading. So first we are going to be using some oracle cards just to grab the overall theme and energy between you and the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And then we are going to dive deep with tarot. Please remember that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like to join me over at the extended reading after this, the link for that is in the description box below, and you can also check out a preview of that extended at the end of this video. So enough of me talking, Taurus. Let's check out what is going on here. So overall theme and energy between Taurus and the person that they are connecting with or will be connecting with. Love, this is so beautiful. So there is something here that is very, very meaningful. It feels good. I think this is a rose quartz here on this necklace, which is the love crystal uh, and really bringing in that nurturing energy, this compassionate energy. And I'm really sensing that there is something really true and authentic that is being built. And we have synchronicity at the bottom of the deck. So Taurus, you could be seeing a lot of signs from the universe, uh, divine numbers, you know, 333, 222, things like that, or just very meaningful coincidences. Wow, this is beautiful. Let's check out the advice for this month for you. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. So before we jump to any conclusions, because we do have your hard work is paying off new moon and Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. So before we get into this, I do want to pull because we have love. Why is this the advice, please? This, I think this is what is, is saying that everything is okay. Oops, so many wanted to pop out. We cannot take all of these, but we will take a look at the first one before I put this back in the deck. And if it's meant to come out, it will, but I only... That's my rule, I only draw one. But with childhood memories, there could be this feeling of nostalgia, reflecting on the past, okay, missing someone. And it, and it came out again, so there we go. Okay, so actually what I'm really getting here, we have no at the bottom of the deck. There may be a situation, I mean, there is a situation that is full of love. There are two people who care about each other and you're really gonna be feeling that energy. And you may have thought that something particular was going to happen and it could be, it could be you or the, your person, you know, take what resonates, feel free to swap the roles. Uh, I am just simply reading energy, so I could really be talking about you or your person or uh, the connection in general, but someone may be thinking about the past a lot here and kind of getting wrapped up in their mind a little bit or uh, really bringing in past experiences into the present for better or for worse, but what I'm sensing with this love and nothing will come of this situation, I'm definitely sensing that what this means is that someone here may be i'm just feeling like this this discomfort for some reason okay um we're gonna get into this more but i feel like this is positive because i feel like someone is possibly getting caught up in some fears here related to the past or there's a need to really work through something here flirt okay True love. These are all pre-shuffled, by the way. Honeymoon. So, Taurus, the energy coming towards you is beautiful. And you may be currently dealing with this energy at this time. But there's something here from the past that may be making you feel like this isn't going to work out or this or that. But I think that what this is saying is that Nothing will come of the situation in terms of your fears, but of course we do need to get the tarot out and see what tarot has to say. 
but I do feel like there's a lot of reflection on the past, as I said, nostalgia, past memories. So let's get into this Taurus and see what is actually going on here. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Four of Wands in the reverse. Not, so here's that anxiety that I was talking about. Someone is very much in their head. Justice in the reverse. Ace of Wands. Four of Swords. King of Pentacles in the reverse. And we will cl clarify all these. Let me just get all of these, all of the cards good. Give me one moment. So you may be dealing with a Libra or an Earth sign, but that is not necessary. But there is a sense of instability that requires adjustment that was caused by some sense of unfairness or injustice from the past. Someone may have done you wrong in some way or just something did not feel fair, but your person represented by the Ace of Wands is seeing the opportunity, the potential to take action towards this Four of Wands in reverse, which is what is representing this instability, okay? You are in the energy of withdrawal at this time, possibly focusing on healing or yourself and just dealing with any sort of mental overload. I don't feel that all is lost here, but there is still instability that again requires adjustment there is anxiety that is present here and someone may not be too uh, may not be sleeping too well with this nine of swords um but i'm really sensing that someone could be concerned about how this will be resolved whatever happened here i'm sensing that this anxiety is leading someone to think that the worst is going to happen but i'm sensing that assumed worst outcome is not what will be manifesting. As they say, most of the things that we worry about do not come true anyway. So I think that it is very important to remember the positives in this connection, regardless of what happened here. There is a lot of love. There is this very magnetic energy. Things feel really, really good. This is a true connection. Now we really do need to clarify and see what exactly went on here. Remember, free will is at your is free will is at play. I cannot talk today, you guys. So what I'm sensing here is that there could be some sort of communication issue. I'm really feeling that in my throat chakra. But I'm definitely sensing that there is a lot of love here. Someone could be very much stuck in their head and someone is trying to figure out how to fix something. And I'm sensing that it is your person. Okay? So what I would like to do here is to clarify and see what is really going on here, get some more information, and then we will go through everything one by one. All right, let's get into this. So I did turn some of these cards upside down just so that the board does not get too overwhelming for your eyes or mine. However, I did draw all of the cards on camera just to be transparent. But I'm definitely sensing that, I mean, there is this lover's energy here, okay? There is this beautiful connection, the soulmate energy. Things are feeling really, really good. But someone is dealing with some sort of anxiety. It could feel like someone is being a bit robotic and not really connecting with their emotions. Someone could actually be trying to rationalize their feelings, but also really stuck in their head from overthinking at this time. Okay, I do want to take a look at the past here very, very quickly. But I'm sensing that someone needed to put something down here in the past something may have felt unfair and so this is where the emperor energy comes in and you could be dealing with a capricorn or an aries or you could have that or yeah or you could have that in your chart but that is not necessary or libra but 
someone took an authoritative approach possibly setting some boundaries because someone just needed to put something down here it was something that just was not fair okay something did not feel fair and i am sensing that this energy has somewhat somewhat carried over and this may have been a clear-cut decision okay this may have been chosen to be dealt with in this way like because someone here is in their worth and i feel that this is you something happened you took a clear-cut approach to it very authoritative just very you know this is how i'm going to deal with it this is a lot on my plate this is stressing me out but it was very clear it was decisive for some of you you may have set boundaries but whatever it is i do feel like you dealt with it in a logical way. Now, there is still some instability here in this situation. Uh, whether you are talking with this person or not is up to you. I'm not seeing any clear indicators. However, something feels a bit robotic. And this could be your perception, your person's perception, or just the overall general feel of the connection but someone is definitely dealing with some anxiety here because I'm feeling that this Queen of Pentacles an earth sign now, this could be you, is not ready to take action quite yet. And if you set boundaries with someone here and you are a little I wouldn't say distant, maybe you are, but like I said, or maybe I did not say this yet, but there's definitely this energy of something happened here in the past, something needed to be put down, but it was dealt with in a very mature way with however that was carried out. I'm not saying that the person responded in a mature way, but I'm saying that, you know, or, well, whoever responded to this injustice was very, you know, this is what I'm doing. But now that response to this emperor energy, it can go either way. But now it's kind of that awkwardness after a difficult time where two people need to kind of warm up to each other a little bit. And what I'm sensing here is that there is this lover's energy, okay? There is this beautiful energy here, but someone is having some anxiety, possibly about why someone is acting a bit distant. Someone could be having anxious thoughts about a third party. Okay. Wondering, I'm not saying that there is a third party here, but what I'm sensing is someone could be feeling a little insecure and wondering if someone else is interested in someone else or something along the lines of that. I do want to pull a few more cards just to grab some more information. We're going to use some Oracle cards. Soulmate just popped out. So yeah, there is this beautiful soulmate connection, but mute. Yeah. So this is, I'm not necessarily sensing that there actually is a third party, but what I'm sensing is someone pulled their energy away because someone did something wrong in the past. The response to that was stepping into this emperor energy and someone kind of was not as emotional maybe as they were expected to be. Maybe you just kind of started to approach things in a very logical way and you detached from your your emotions a little bit here. I mean, you're feeling everything, but you may not outwardly show it. But what I'm sensing is someone went a little bit mute here or at least pulled away a little bit and may not be showing that warmth, right? Because of self-worth, they know their worth. And something may have happened here where someone just feels like they're not ready to jump back in and they want to see some changes. You also may be dealing with, dealing with a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, but that is not necessary. But that's what I'm really feeling is this, you know, awkwardness after the storm or whatever felt unfair. 
okay? And this actually fell out, refocus. So someone could just be kind of refocused on other areas of their life. I'm sensing that this could be you, okay? Very interesting. I actually want to pull one more card here. Let's check out the past just for confirmation. Contract. So maybe there was some sort of agreement here in the past. This could have been a relationship or something was expected. There could have been some sort of expectation. But something was either... Someone didn't follow through with something. A contract or agreement was not kept. But someone took, as I said, a logical approach to dealing with whatever became misaligned here. As I'm sensing that you here with the Four of Swords, you may be looking into, or well, more so Virgo energy, by the way, looking within. Okay, possibly at the behavior of an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but that, that is not necessary. But I do feel like you've, you know, you're taking a bit of a time out and I do feel like you are refocusing and your energy here of this kind of less sociable because you're not ready to put your heart out on, you know, your sleeve again. You... Your actions, which are completely valid, this person may be very much worried. I feel like this person is a bit stuck in their head regarding their past actions here. You may be waiting for a new beginning, an apology from this person. Your person Ace of Wands, Three of Wands in the reverse, Queen of Swords, the Chariot, Cancerian energy. But someone wants to speak up here. Someone is seeing the opportunity. I do want to know specifically more about the Three of Wands in the reverse, please. Because there is some sort of delay here. Yeah, so... Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Someone wants to take action here to turn the circumstances towards something more favorable. Now, this person, act, there's some sort of delay here either because this person has not taken action yet, or maybe they have and they're waiting to hear back from you. Now, you may be, like I said, waiting for this offer or you are looking at this offer. And if you are looking at this offer, you may be reflecting on the past actions of this person and you may be a bit in your head worried that, you know, you don't want to go through the same cycle again, whether it's a repeated cycle from, you know, other relationships or within this connection. But I feel like someone did not show up someone didn't keep a promise or they did something that was not expected they did something that was against the relationship or the connection it was not helpful to it it felt unfair but someone is very much in their head someone wants to get past this breakup and i'm feeling that this is more so your person i feel that this is your person that wants to get past Maybe it wasn't a breakup, okay, but may, there was some sort of conflict that happened here that is putting someone in their head. And it may be related to a bad decision that this person made, and they're really feeling the consequences of their actions, they're really getting their karma at this time, and they're wanting to move on, they're wanting to get out of, the, of this heartbreak. But because you may not be actively participating it, in it to really get the ball going because you have some reservations, this person's kind of freaking out. But this person, they want to come in with clear cut action. They want to get out of this rut and they want to move forward in a determined, sincere way. So I do like that energy. I do want to pull a few more cards here.
yeah, see, this person wants your forgiveness. This person is not, no, and you know your worth here. So I definitely do feel like you've pulled back. You're looking at this King of Swords in the, the reverse, possibly their behavior, possibly for a new emotional beginning. But, you know, I don't think you want just an apology here. I, I think you want a true emotional new beginning here. You want to see some change. So this King of Swords in the reverse, maybe they said something with their words. Maybe they were a bit harsh. Maybe they kind of cut you off. The King of Swords in the reverse is someone who, for example, may hang up on someone who may be just, you know, say something that really hurts. Someone who may be a bit critical as well, but very blunt, straight to the point. Sometimes to the point where it, it feels like they're not being considerate of other people's feelings, you know? And so I think that that was very off-putting to you. And you pulled away, you're really looking at this, and you're wanting some changed behavior while you're still healing from the overall situation that happens. And you know your worth. Now, because of what happened, and like I said, there's some reservation, I definitely feel like you're refocusing your energy. You still have love for this person, but you're, you're not just jumping right back into it, okay? You're not ready to just go for it. And you may be waiting to see changes from this person or some sort of initiation, whether or not you are in communication with them. This person definitely wants your forgiveness and they want to go to a better place with you, okay? And I do feel like, if you allow it, this person may come in and really work on righting the wrongs and really making you feel special here because there is this loving energy. This is true love. I mean, things feel really, really good when you are together, but with this, nothing will come of this situation. I don't feel that this is a breakup. I feel that this is this person and maybe they need this fear to really push them to make some changes here. So I don't, I don't see, and remember free will is at play. So if you want to really walk away from this person, feel free to do so. But I do feel like this person, you know, they may be coming in asking for forgiveness. And with the king of wands, wheel of fortune, this person may have Sagittarius in their chart, possibly. We've got Scorpio, Libra, Cancer. They could be a fire or, as I said, or a an air sign or have some of that in their chart, but the, they're looking for the opportunity how to make things right. And I think with the three of wands in the reverse, they're trying to figure that out because they're past the, the planning phase. Like this, I think this person has it down with the, because three of wands comes after two of wands. So even though this is in the reverse, it kind of puts it back to the two of wands upright. Um, so it's like they've got the plans, they know what they want to do, but they may not have got this idea up and running yet because it may require two. And if you two aren't really talking or you aren't at a place where this person can come in and really show you that there's a difference, then you may, um, you know, you may not have seen that yet. But I think that this person is worried that you could be like opening up your options, that you could be, you know, interested in someone else or that there could be, you know, your energy is elsewhere. Yeah, because this person, they're wanting to come in and create some sort of major change here with death Scorpio energy, by the way. Okay, so this, there's some sort of major transformation that this person wants to to bring in. So I do like that. Okay. So here's the thing though. Let's talk about this because I want to pull a few more here. Because we have the tower coming in and here's the thing. For me, I like the tower sometimes. It really depends because if there's something that, you know, like you really need a change and you're not seeing it, the tower is something that I want to see because it tells me that there's some sort of shakeup that will allow certain structures that no longer serve the connection, person, relationship, you know, situation to come falling down. Dead end.
Okay, so I feel that you may be a bit in your thoughts here because I do feel like you want some sort of major change and you want to see certain structures that were not working in the past to come falling down, okay? So I feel like you are a little bit stuck here. Now this person, whatever happened in the past, it could have been related to how they were prioritizing their time, possibly prioritizing you, okay? But there's something in the past that requires some sort of adjustment. And with dead end, money versus love, confusion, solitude, I definitely feel that someone here is really going to be thinking about how they are using their time and trying to sort through some confusion. I do like the solitude because it's very much like the hermit. And I feel that because your person wants forgiveness here. But I think that what this is really saying is that you are waiting to see certain things actually change. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to get a little bit information here. And what I want to do is actually customize this a bit more. This is a general reading, so we're going to do a little bit of a pick a card. Now, if you don't know what a pick a card is, I will explain it to you. If you do, then wonderful. I just want to remind you, even if you are not you know, a fan of pick a cards, you do not need to participate in this part of the reading. Uh, but basically what we are doing is we are going to grab a little bit more information about the outcome here. We're going to be uh, drawing three different piles, piles one, two, three. I will do that in a moment. And we're going to get a little bit more information and if you have any issues deciding, the default pile will be pile number one. So if you can't decide between piles one, two, three, you know, pile one will be the default. However, if that is the number you want to choose anyway, then feel free to go for that one. However, I just wanted to do this to, you know, bring in a little bit more personalization. So... We're going to do this so for piles number one. Two. And three. So what I want you to do is pick a number one, two or three. It doesn't have to be the number that you're drawn to, possibly the position or just anything, you know, just maybe where your eyes are drawn to. But we're gonna get some more information about this, okay? So for pile number one, feel free to pause the video if necessary, but for pile number one, we do have the two of swords in the reverse. So at this time or in the future, you may be waiting for this to, to really see that change. You may be feeling as though, well, if I walk away right now, you know, I could be leaving prematurely. If I walk away later, I could be wasting my time. So you may be feeling a bit at a stalemate here but I do feel like you are waiting for this because okay hear me out the knight of pentacles in the reverse is someone who will change up the routine they're a little ADD in a way okay because the upright version of this knight is someone who is really sticking to routine doing the day-to-day -day and all that and I think that you are looking for someone here to really shake it up and break that routine. So for pile number one, or if you didn't choose a pile, I do feel like you are really going to be waiting for this person. I know you may forgive them, but at the same time, you may want to make sure that this isn't a dead end, that they are still going to continue, or sorry, that they are going to start prioritizing the right things and not to continue to prioritize other things or just revert to their previous behavior, okay? That's what I'm really getting here because you want to see this person stop doing something related to the past, okay? The devil, okay? So if you picked pile number two, we've got the devil, Capricorn energy. There may be some fears here, okay? And actually, because I just want to make sure, I just want to quickly clarify this, okay? Okay. So there may be a lot of fears here coming up about this ending or fears of this ending. 
But what you want to do here is make sure that you're not stepping into those fears going towards potential self-sabotaging behaviors and so forth, okay? And I do feel that if you see this person go into that, you may just decide to walk away and end it, okay? So for pile number three, seven of swords in the reverse, I do like this. Because this is telling me that some sort of information may be revealed here that may be coming to the surface. However, you want to make sure that there is no self-deception going on at this time. Your person may also be, you know, uh, dealing with self-deception. And it is important to not jump to conclusions. So that's what I'm really getting here. Um, I do feel though, genuinely, especially with this King of Pentacles in reverse energy, you may be choosing to be a bit more stubborn and you, but I don't feel that it is bad here. I do feel like you're going to be very much focused on you, but now you are in this energy of, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. And you may be willing to allow this tower to fall down and fall apart if they're not willing to actually put in the work and make things happen, okay? Bound. Oh my gosh, barrier. So many just flew out. I'm really more so feeling that the devil is your person here for some reason. Like there are just some fears that are causing some pain. Family. Signs. So you may be talking to family about this, or you just may uh, be confiding in friends and so forth, but there's a very, very strong connection here. Very strong connection. So it's really about getting over whatever this barrier is. And for some of you, family may offer some very, very helpful advice. And if it's not your family, then there may be those around you that you really feel, you know, because family isn't always blood. Family can be, you know, your very close friends that really feel like family, but there could be people here around you that are really giving you helpful advice that you, you know, you should consider and so forth. Um, but that's what I'm really, really getting here. Okay, so before we end this, I do want to, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. We're going to pull some advice and then we're going to go into it deeper. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands as the advice. So I love this as the advice because the Queen of Wands knows her worth. She knows what she wants. She is self-confident. She is charismatic. She's self-assured and she is not going to apologize for her desires, you know, her needs or who she is. She is completely unapologetic and authentic and she she shines that brightly without any sort of apology. The Queen of Wands says, don't let this get you down. Whatever is going on, there is a beautiful situation on the horizon for you. There is a lot of love here. There is a connection that feels re real, that feels true. Don't doubt yourself. Don't get so stuck in your head that you are wondering, well, am I asking too much from this person? Am I overthinking? No, you are not. You deserve to have your desires and your needs met, okay? And you know your worth. Don't start questioning it after you are coming to all these very powerful realizations and you know i totally understand why you are looking at this person's behavior and you may be wondering and hoping for this new beginning but you want a fresh start like i said and don't you know my advice here especially with the queen of wands is to go towards what you want unapologetically so if this person comes in and you really want to, I would say, kind of gatekeep a little bit, but in a sense that, you know, you're being careful with what you are allowing in your life energetically. For example, you know, you don't want this person coming in and repeating the past mistake. Okay, good. So what can you do in this beautiful Queen of Wands energy? And maybe take the time to look up the Queen of Wands, 
research her a little bit and really understand that energy. I mean, just go on Google and type in Queen of Wands and you'll get so much information. But the Queen of Wands really, really, really talks about honoring yourself and your desires and just really embodying that courage to not, you know, question yourself and what it is that you want. So it might be about having this conversation with this person and being a little bit unapologetic or extremely unapologetic for maybe being a little bit stubborn, but not in a bad way. It's just like, you know what you want and that's it. And this is, you know, it brings in that stability and security within. This is what you want and you are not going to, you know, compromise that. I shouldn't even say stubbornness, but you know, you're not compromising and settling for less. And that is so important. And so what I'm sensing here is really overall, regardless of, of piles one, two, three, and so forth, what I'm really getting here is that you are going to be stepping into, I know my worth, and either what needs to fall apart, falls apart and falls down so we can rebuild this in the right way and stop trying to do things in the past that, you know, no longer work, or I'm going to go on my way, okay? And so the thing here is, although you may be, feel, be feeling very bound to this person, you have the strength to set up boundaries, okay, and barriers. And you, like I said, look for that support from your family, your friends, those around you. They may be showing you some signs. They may be showing you some incredible advice. Or another thing that just came in right now is that this barrier, any sort of toxicity, anything here that may be unhealthy, maybe you may be seeing the signs that this has to do with someone's upbringing, their family or something. It doesn't have to be family. It could be something you know earlier that happened in their life that really influenced them. And um, that's not to justify it. It is what it is. This could just simply serve as some sort of confirmation uh, for someone out there. And what I'm going to say here, though, is that I do genuinely like this tower here because it's saying that, you know, you're going to shake it up and you are no longer settling for less. You are in that worth. And I think that that is a beautiful energy. This is a general reading. So, you know, going beyond that, that's something that we are going to dive into in the extended. You know, we'll take a look at more of this. OK, and what may appear in the potential long term with this situation you know we're going to dive into this tower a bit more and what this really means you know what does it really mean uh related to the past how could these behaviors change what changes you may see and so forth what to look out for we'll take a look at what you may not know about this person or situation that you should know we'll take a look at um feelings intentions actions this person uh, may take as well as what they may want to tell you. We'll take a look at any blocks. Uh, we'll also take a look at some advice. We'll dive deeper into this queen of, of wands energy. And um, yeah, so that is what I'm really getting for you. Overall, I feel that this is a beautiful reading in a sense that there is genuine love here and care and, you know, this magnetism. But at the same time, you know it's healthy, you know it's not, and it's really about not settling for what you know that you don't want when you envision your long term, right? So that is what I have for you. If you would like to join me over at the extended, the link for that is in the description box below. Absolutely everything that you need to know about the um, extended, including if you need a backup link to the extended or anything like that is in the description box below. Uh, but yeah, so that is what I'm really, really getting for you. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I do read all my comments and I would really love to see how this reading is fitting into your life, how, um, you know, how this is playing out and so forth. But yeah, that is what I have for you. Keep watching for a sneak peek of that extended and thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye. There's a lot of physical attraction and chemistry. Yeah. This person wants to put a stop to certain behaviors, but, but no matter how spontaneous this is, there is that energy for this person to reach out and so speak This up. person may strategize in particular ways. This person may be a bit jealous.